hello everyone so this video will be about configuring your uh, vr set with your windows machine so i'm gonna use my acer vr set uh, with my uh, dell uh, windows machine uh, so first of all uh, we will show you how to set it up so you have to actually uh, go uh, create some boundaries around your setup so that uh, your vr set is th smart enough to know like exactly wh where the boundary will be where you will be playing games or uh, enjoying the VR gaming experience. So my Acer VR said have uh, a HDMI and a USB cable. So I'll just gonna put that in, in inside my Dell laptop. So let me just put that in. So that's go cool, my. So this is what you will get. So. So it will uh, tell you to make sure your headset display cable is uh, plugged in. So that means that you haven't connected your HDMI properly. So I'll just connect my HDMI cable right now. So when your uh, uh, status is ready, so you can simply see what's going on. So you can actually go wear your headset. So when you wear your headset, so uh, you, I'll, uh, I'm exactly seeing what exactly you are seeing on my laptop screen. So let me first grab my headsets and uh, the controllers. So make sure you have put the batteries in your controllers. And yeah, I have to balance it on my head. So since it's turned off, so you have to press the windows icon like so that it's turned on see so the light on it will turn on so in that way uh, it, it says that it is connected so before i recorded this video so i connected uh, this to to my laptop uh, so it require bluetooth connect bluetooth connection so it's it's a very really simple step so when you are setting it up your VR set so make sure you just do it so it's it won't require much of a time to do that so when this is done you will be actually able to use your controller as well uh, so as you can see I can let me tighten this a bit so, so this is exactly you can see so you can move your head and according to that this is moving and so you have like two options seated and standing or all experience one so uh, i'll i'll just go and select all experience one right now so you just have to press uh, this button right here so and when you then you can actually go in so now it give you different kind of instruction how to set it up so now it says to take off your headset and do then uh, we I have to go to my laptop and go to run setup. So let's do that. I'm just taking up my headset for now. So now I have taken off my headset. So here you can go and do the run setup. So this window is the mixed reality portal, which is when you connect it. So Windows had this app, which will automatically come up. So here you can see there is run setup rhythm. So just press on that. So you will be given two option. So I'll just go with the recommended one. In this one, you will have to actually um, set the boundaries up around uh, your setup so that you can walk around or whatever. You can pick any of those. Uh, I'll just pick the recommended one. So now uh, it uh, asks me is to like make sure I have a proper space so that uh, I can do a boundary setup. So I'll just go next. And uh, it says you to put your headset at the center of your laptop. So I'll just keep it here. And uh, here I can like start my trace. So as you can see, it give a proper demonstration of how exactly you should do it. So let me just try it. So now my headset is the center of the laptop, so I'll try to make a boundary here. So you can see.
So here uh, you can actually see that I have uh, set up the boundary properly. So now, uh, now since the boundary is defined, uh, I'll just go and accept. So now when the setup is done, uh, so you will see uh, this uh, wonderful uh, environment set up by Microsoft. So you can actually uh, see your controller in your uh, headset. So you are exactly seeing what I'm seeing uh, using my VR set. So you can just go walk around like go and see different places over here. So one thing I noticed uh, uh, regarding my laptop was uh, the sound of the fan is quite high because we are require good uh, machine configuration to gain your battery and your power of your laptop uh, so that that's what i'm noticing right now uh, but uh, it is a totally a great experience so you can see and you can see a different environment. you can look back you can go, go to a different place and simply do whatever you want so now uh, let's play a game so i have downloaded this uh, uh, ghostbuster vr chapter one so i'll just launch it so the mixer portal pops up. So let me just wear this headset and see what happens. Um, so it's loading. It will take a few seconds. Set things up. So now if I wear it, I can actually see things. So let me just grab my headset, turn it on. So, so when, make sure you turn on your controllers. So I'm finding it hard to like see it properly. So when you turn it on, you can actually see it on your screen. So let's grab. So here you can see that I have like two arms. So I'll just go ahead and select yes. So I have a red little laser coming out of my hands. I can go and start this game or there is instruction coming up. So I, I'm not able to do anything from my left arm. So let's go and press start. So it is loading. So this is how you can actually use it. So this is a VR games so and you can look around and like I'm, I'm really not sure I haven't played this game before so I have some in uh, tutorials so look left and look right I can see the tutorial properly I can so it's a interview at goes for the IQ and don't be late so I'm really not sure how to play this game, but the game is working. So I can look around different place. Uh, so one more thing I noticed was uh, the fan of the, my laptop was making noise while playing the VR game. So make sure you guys don't play the VR game on your lap or on your bed because it needs space for its exhaust to take out the heat out of your laptop. And I would suggest that uh, if you want to make a boundary for your uh, VR setup, so make sure you have a spacious room so that you can have sufficient space to mark down the boundary uh, so that you can play your VR game with a proper setup. And I would like to thank you all for supporting us. Uh, please keep liking uh, and sharing uh, my video. And please suggest in the comments below that what you guys might want us to do. And please subscribe.